Senator Josh Hawley is putting pressure on the Biden administration now. He is calling on the DHS Secretary Alejandro Mayorkas to end the practice of dismissing thousands of asylum cases, effectively giving those border crosses, crossers mass amnesty. It comes after a New York Post report exposed the administration dropped the cases of 350,000 of those border crossers. That essentially allowed them to stay in the country if they didn't have a criminal record or one that we could find. In focus now, Senator Hawley, Republican from Missouri, member of the House, I mean, excuse me, uh, Senate Judiciary Committee. Great to see you today. First of all, break down what we're learning about this amnesty, so-called amnesty for people with asylum. And then also another level of asylum look from the president yesterday. Well, what we're learning, Harris, is that this administration is finding every way they can to throw open the border and grant mass amnesty. What we, they've done now, we learn, is all of these asylum cases, hundreds of thousands of them, the administration's just dropped them, canceled them. So these people come into the country, claim asylum. By the way, almost none of them qualify for asylum. I mean, almost all of these cases fail when they finally get adjudicated. But what Biden is doing is saying, hey, you know what, actually, we're not even going to try the cases. Just go ahead. We're canceling your hearing. We're canceling your case. Just stay in the country. We know of at least 350 thousand cases a lot. in which this has happened. It's a lot. That's how we got nine million illegals in the country. Look, talk to me just briefly about the vetting process, because if they're in line for that, I don't know, fantasy court date that's going to happen after my youngest teenager graduates from college for some of them, uh, what, what really do we know about these people? If now we're not even holding them to any standard of asylum, we're just setting them free. Oh, we know almost nothing. And this goes back to this administration's policy of essentially catch and release. What's happened is folks coming across the border now are all claiming asylum because the Biden people have been so liberal, so wide open about saying, oh, anything counts as asylum. So, of course, if you have half a brain, you come across, you say asylum, asylum. And then what do they do? Right. They turn them loose in the country. And then, as we're finding out, they cancel their cases. So, Harris, what should happen is folks claiming asylum should have to wait in Mexico or a third safe country while their claims are adjudicated. That's what Trump did. That's what got the numbers of border crossers down. Biden's just saying, come on across the border, and when you're here, stay forever. Yeah. Mexico has a brand new president. Uh, she's the first woman to lead that country. I, I wonder how things will change or not on her watch and what our relationship will become uh, with that new leadership. Any quick thought on that? Well, you know, it looks to me like it's more of the same. I mean, her policies are the same as the last very leftist president in Mexico. Listen, we need to apply real pressure to Mexico and say we need a remain in Mexico policy. We need to be able to turn back anybody who's crossed in the United States, say wait in Mexico or a safe third country while your claims are processed. Harris, that would effectively close down the border, but Biden won't do it. Look, real quickly before I let you go, I broke down these numbers. If, if we had 2,499 people, which is just a hint below, which I don't think anybody doubts the cartels can work it like that. I mean, they, they work us at the border anyway. I mean, our, our poor border agents are working so hard to, to fight back on that process, but they're sending the numbers through that they want the cartel members are. So if they can manipulate that to get it under 2,500, so the average seven day, what effectively does that mean for what Biden just did? It means, it means that it's a joke. It means that the border is open. Here's the deal, Harris. He could close the border now if he wanted to because he's the one who opened it. And he should close it. If he were serious, he would go into the Rose Garden right now and he would say, I am issuing an executive order and I am closing the border. Nine million or more migrants have crossed illegally under Biden. He should say, I'm closing it now. Instead, what he's saying is, maybe I'll think about it temporarily under certain conditions in the future. Yeah. It's a total joke. I don't know what he would do with the far left, though, AOC and Rashida Tlaib would probably chase him through the backyard. Uh, I mean, that, that might be politically tough for him. Uh, Senator Hawley, thank you so very much for being in focus and getting thank us you. started today. Thank you.